What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Docks. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now before we get started guys, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the delay in videos on this series. Now just because I haven't done no videos doesn't mean I haven't been doing builds and planning stuff. Now I've got a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to be doing and before we get started guys, don't worry, all of the new builds you can see, there are going to be tutorials for everything. Okay, we're going to be going over everything. We'll be doing a tutorial for everything at some point. Um, but for today, we are going to be doing a tutorial over on this house just here. The one that is connected to our terracotta house. So this is a pretty cool little house. Kind of mostly done with wood and a brick roof. But I think it's pretty cool. The details down the side here will probably get removed at some point for myself because I am going to be putting another house here in this yellow line. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build it with these details in case you guys don't plan on doing that yourself. And then round the back here, as you can see, it's uh, pretty detailed. We've got a little bit going on around the back. And um, overall, this is a pretty cool house. I'm really happy with the design of it and the shape. Um, and it's going to be a fairly simple build. You may need to gather up some of the bricks if you're doing this in survival. But most of the other stuff is fairly simple resources. Anyway guys, with that being said, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at, first of all, everything that I've already built, which I'm going to be doing tutorials for. Now this world, remember guys, this is my world where I do all my planning. I have two versions of this world. One where I do all my planning, the other one where I do all the tutorials. So normally if I've got a load of plans and things for you guys to see, I'll always show that one at the beginning of the tutorial. And then I will go back into my tutorial world, which is from the last episode that we've done. And that will be where you'll see everything that we've done previously. And then there won't be no extra builds there because we're going to build all of this into that world. Now guys, sorry for the delay on this one. I know I'm, uh, I'm probably talking a little bit too much, but I just want to kind of get over it and show you everything that's planned because there's been so many questions for this series. So I just want to let you know exactly what's going on. So first of all, guys, over here, we've got a new tower here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this very soon. And we've also got this little kind of, I suppose it's be like a little docks guard house slash lifeguard house, maybe you would use it for. Something like that and maybe we could even get in a little boat down here at some point um, But this is a nice little simple house and I built this Deliberately to separate the docks here from the land over the side here, which we'll get to in just a moment Now over here in the docks you guys have been going crazy for a while about this boats We need some boats and ships so here is our first one guys, we're going to be doing a tutorial for this very soon. I have got a couple of small changes to make to it, but nothing too drastic. So we're going to be building something pretty much exactly the same. And that's going to be coming very soon. Now back onto the docks themselves. As you can see, we got the tower guys, we're going to have a tutorial for that. We also have this large wall that's going to go all the way around the outskirts of the docks area. We're going to be doing a tutorial on this gate down here as well, which is a nice, small and simple gate. Nothing too crazy, but it kind of fits the area just about right. We'll also be doing a tutorial on the wall. And the wall is going to divide into three different areas. One is going to be the docks. Two is going to be this area around here, which is going to be kind of like a, a lower class kind of housing slightly. So there's going to be smaller houses here, still built with the same style, but just a bit smaller. And then we're going to extend maybe a few small little docks here. Maybe so just for like um, little traders, small traders that will be coming in on small boats rather than as opposed to ships and stuff like that. Maybe even a couple of small boat builders or something like that. We might have some of those down here. So there's a lot of plans for this bit of the, um, of the docks. Around here, we've got ourselves a tavern. This is from my survival world. So we will be building this in this um, in this town here and overall I've got to say guys I really love this design and I think this fits in perfectly So I'm really happy with this one. This one's gonna be coming again very soon guys We've got this new house over here again. This is gonna be coming very soon This is actually a little kind of woodcutters lodge. So we've got a little woodcutter down here It's got a little although it's a stone cutter, but you can imagine it's for cutting wood little axe and stuff here just to kind of make it look like it fits in 
Now when we build this one, we probably will build it over by one or two blocks, just so it doesn't cut into that house quite as much. But overall guys, I think it's looking really cool. Now moving on, as you can see, the back of the city here, we've got a ton of plans. So around the back here, there's going to be loads of houses, loads of shops and stuff like that, all going on in these markings, plus a load more. Now most of the red ones I think are all going to be like shops and businesses. The yellow and blue ones are going to be different sort of housing. Maybe some smaller builds and some big builds. The pink one over there is going to be a stable at the back of the inn. And over here we're going to come into a little area here. There's going to be some nice little posh houses up on this little area here. Things that look really nice. Um, as you can see, we moved the other terracotta house, which I've still to do the tutorial for yet, over to here. Now this is, this fits in much nicer. We get a really nice little feel as you come down here. As you can see, the way the houses are closely knit. And we've also got another sec a second new house here as well. So again, this is going to be another tutorial, and so is this one here. This house here, this is one we actually built over there, over by the tavern. Um, but I moved it up to this end because I felt that it fit better over here. We've got a little blacksmith down here. Again, just a small house. Nothing too crazy for this one. Just a small blacksmith here. Again, we will be having a tutorial on that. The houses down, down the back there, guys. I just copied those from my survival world for the moment. Just to see if we can work a way of fitting them into here. Or even switching them up and edit them a little bit so that they blend in. So I'm going to see what we can do with some of those. But as you can see guys, there is a lot of plans here for houses. So the idea here is this is going to be the docks at the front here. Everything here is going to be the docks part of the village. Over there, the lower class area of the village. Now behind here, at some point, I want to turn this into a main kingdom. Now, first of all, I'm planning on building a huge castle. This is going to be a very, very, very big castle here. Um... A lot bigger than the previous one we've done. This is going to be a lot bigger and a lot more grand. So I've got a lot of big plans for that. Now, I wanted to ask you guys first of all. Because I know that I use a seed number here and a lot of you guys are following along. Would you guys be okay if I used World Edit to edit up some of the land here? Okay, so that we can raise it up and make the castle a little bit higher. So that it is clearly seen from the shoreline okay we want to make it like a very sort of a big point that gets seen now if you guys don't mind me using a bit of world edit we can raise up some of the land and we can make a really cool featured castle if you guys would rather me build on the land we already have and if i do any sort of terrain editing then to show you how to do it then we can go ahead and do that but um it just will make it a little bit a little bit less um Less sort of picturesque, you know, it won't make it look as nice. It, it, the, the, the build will look just as nice, but the area that it's sitting on won't look as nice. So that's my goal here, guys. So if you guys could let me know if you would be okay for me using a little bit of world edit. Not going too crazy, just a little bit, just to raise the land up a little bit around here to build the castle one. Um, that'd be great if you guys could let me know. But either way, I don't mind because this is going to look amazing either way we do it. So this is going to be the main kingdom. So we'll have a huge castle some big houses and town halls and all that in here maybe a church a big massive church and a church tower and stuff like that and that is pretty much all the plans i've got guys so with that being said i think we're going to dive in and take a look at the blocks we're going to need today but if you guys could go ahead and give me some feedback on all of the plans that would be much appreciated and uh yeah let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need Okay, for this build, we're going to need some oak logs, some stripped oak wood, oak planks, some glass blocks and glass panes of your choice. I'm going to be using the light grey stained versions. Some spruce planks, slabs, stairs, fences, trap doors, buttons and doors. Some bricks and some brick stairs. Some stripped birch wood. Cobblestone, cobblestone stairs and cobblestone wall. Some stone bricks, some stone, some lanterns a campfire and then just for some decoration some leaves flower pots flowers and some dirt or some cool stuff it doesn't matter and with that being said guys let's go ahead and build this 
Okay guys, here is the layout of the floor plan. Now, I know this one's a little bit confusing because we are attached to another building, but the most important part here is to line up from the pillars on the other building. So as you can see, we've got our oak log pillar on the top corner there, and you can see our red block on the right hand side of it, just where it starts. If you follow from there, you should be fine. Now the red blocks are all our one block pillars, the yellow blocks are three blocks, the green blocks are two blocks, and the blue blocks are five blocks. So guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and build it. Okay guys, we're going to start over on the corner of this build that we're attaching it to. Now, if you're not attaching this to any form of build, you could literally go from this pillar here, leave a three block gap, and then place a pillar here, and just continue this side of the build, bit pretty much the same as we do on this corner here, you would just reverse it onto that side if you want it as a standalone build and not attached to anything. Now we're going to be building it attached onto this terracotta build here. So we're going to start by this going to this corner here. We're going to place an oak log right on the side of it there. Okay, so we're on the side of the building here. Place an oak log there. Leave a three block gap and place one here. Leave a three block gap down here and place one there. Now to the left, leave a two block gap and place one there. And then we're going to come back to this one. To the right, we're going to leave a five block gap. Then we're going to go forward, leaving a three block gap, a three block gap, and a three block gap. To the left, we're going to leave a five block gap, a three block gap, and a three block gap. Then we're going to come down, leaving a three block gap, and then we should have three blocks between that and the wall. Okay? So, it's pretty straightforward shape. There's nothing too crazy about this one. Now, right at the front here, where we've got our five block gap, let's go ahead and place four more on top of this one, making it five in total and four more on top of this one okay then we're simply going to just join a pillar across and attach it like this now let's go right down to the back of the build and do the same on these two so go one two three and four the same on this one here and then join them together okay this is the ones where we have our five block gaps okay and they're only in two places then we're simply going to bring a pillar all the way down this side and attach it to there and then where our other two pillars are, we're going to raise them up like this and then just break that one. Raise this one up, break that one and replace it like that. Okay, nice and simple. Now let's go ahead and for here, we're going to go one, two, three and four. And then we're going to connect this one up. Then we're going to raise this one up to by four. So it's five high again and then join it up like so. Okay, that's looking good. Now this side of the house is going to be higher, but for now we're going to raise these by four more. Just like this, and then continue joining the pillar across the top like so. And then join it directly into this build like that. Now where our five block gap is over here, we're going to place a block on each side of the pillar here. This one at the back, break that and replace it so we get the wood going the same flow, okay? And then just place two like this with a one block gap between them here. Go over to the front of the build and we're gonna do that again. So let's do one sticking out here, two here, break this one here and do it like this. So again, so that we get that flow of the wood coming down the side. Okay, right, that's looking pretty good. Now, from this point, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise on the corner here. We're going to place a pillar here and here, okay? Then we're going to come down to the side, place one here, here, one on this corner, and one on this corner. And then we're going to come over here and put one here, right? So now, those pillars that we got, we're going to place four more blocks on top. So one, two, three, four, okay? And let's do that all the way around. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get our spruce stairs. And underneath here where we have our pillar, let's place one on this side, one on this side. And then in these gaps, we're going to place an upside down one across like so. We're going to come down to the front of the build and do exactly the same. So one at each side like this where we have our pillars. And then one in the gaps like so. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now get your oak logs and come down to the right hand side of the build all the way to the back here. 
and we're gonna place one, two logs like this, and one, two logs like that. Okay, and here we're just gonna make a small balcony. So for that, we're just gonna put three planks in here, three upside down stairs here, then place one, two, and then one underneath, one, two, and one underneath, just like that. A nice, simple little balcony. And then we can just place a log on the two corners like this, and we'll come back and add some more details in a bit. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and raise this one here up by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we should be one past this level here. And then we're just gonna simply join those two across like that. Now, get your spruce planks, and in this little gap on this side here, we're gonna go ahead and just fill this up with our planks, okay? Just like that leaving that little gap on the corner there like that so that we can put in a stair as we come up. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. Now, cause the left-hand side has a higher roof than what we have on this side, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head back to our logs and this time over on the back left-hand corner from here, we're gonna go from this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine okay then we're going to come over to this pillar here right behind this one we've already placed and we're going to raise that to nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine again we're going to raise this pillar here until it's in line with that now we already have one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's in line and then finally, we're gonna come over here and what we're gonna do is where we have this pillar going across, break this stair here and the ones going across here, break one there and one there. And you can see we've got a pillar there. So what we're gonna do is we wanna go ahead and break this stair here. And in fact, we'll break these ones across, break this pillar here, all this bit here, all the way down until we're in line with that pillar, bring up an oak log all the way to the top and then you want to raise it till it is nine blocks high, so it should be the same height as the rest, which would be there. Okay, and again, that would be nine blocks from this block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got the corners in and that's looking all good. So we should be good to continue from here. Yep, I think we will be. Let's go ahead and we'll just raise this one up for the minute to the same height there. Okay, because I think what we're going to actually end up doing is we'll end up having a pillar come all the way across this one here. And we're probably going to have that round the back here as well. Okay, and this is for the higher side of the roof. Okay, now that we've got the basic framework in place, let's start working with the lower part of the house. So for the moment, I'm gonna quickly just get my cobblestone and we're gonna fill all of the walls at the bottom here with cobblestone. So we're gonna start here in our two gap and we're just gonna literally fill it up with cobblestone all the way to the top. I will add some other blocks in there to texturize it after, but for now, we're just gonna stick with cobble. Do the same in this five block gap here. This three block gap here, this three block gap here, this three block gap. So all the way around, pretty much just following in between them pillars all the way around until we get to this side here where we end up touching into the other house. So just like so, okay? And then just go ahead and fill them walls up to the top. Okay, once you're done guys, I would go ahead, get yourself some stone bricks and some stone and just randomly replace some blocks like this. So I'm gonna first of all, just go around with the stone and replace some of the cobblestone here with some random blocks of stone bricks. Something like that. Just random, make sure it don't look like a pattern and make sure that each side looks different, you know? 
So like we've got this little kind of curve shape around here and then two up here. So over this side, we're going to do something completely different. Something like that. Okay, just make sure that it just looks random. That's the most important thing that you want is you just want it all to look random. So go around through your stone bricks first of all, and then you can go ahead and do the same thing with the stone. Alright guys, once that's done, go ahead and get yourself some stone bricks or some cobblestone uh, some co stone brick stairs or cobblestone stairs. It doesn't matter which ones you want to use. And for your stairway here, so right at the front of the build here, where we have this pillar, place a stair sideways, one block over like that. And then place another one, one up in front, another one, one up in front. And then inside here, we're going to place one up in here. And then one more in that edge there. Okay, so you should have three here and then four, five in that gap there. Go ahead, put some cobblestone in this gap like that. Okay, just to complete that little stairway all the way up. And we shouldn't have any problems coming underneath here and walking all the way around and up. Perfect. Now get yourself your oak log and where that first stair is, go ahead and put an oak log there. Then you want to grab yourself some trapdoors. I'm going to go with the spruce trapdoors here, but you really can use any ones you want. Place one on top, then place three across here. Then crouch and place one on top of each of these. Then you want to crouch and place one on top of this one and this one, and then finally just one on this one. And then if you open them all up, we should have something like this. And in fact, you don't need that one net need to open that one there that should be stayed shut like that there we go we've got a nice little walkway up to our balcony now while we're here guys i'm just going to place one on top of that one and we're going to come around the side here and place one on top of these two okay that's looking pretty good so what we're going to do here is we're going to get our stripped oak wood and we're going to start filling in some of the walls so if we start over at this side here i think what we're going to do is i just realized this actually let's break this pillar all the way down to there um, and we can just break that one there for the minute and put one across like that then this one here which is our one right in the center so we've got a three book gap and a three book gap Raise this one all the way to the top and then cross that one to that. In this gap here, I suppose we could go ahead and probably break the rest of this here like this. And then we're going to get ourselves some oak planks. And we're just going to run those in that gap like that all the way up to the top. Just like so. Now, round to the front here, guys, we're going to get our oak planks again, and we're going to just fill in. So from the inside here where our stairway is, we're going to fill the wall in across this gap. This gap, so that would be a three block gap, a four block gap. Five block gap here, four blocks here, three blocks here, four blocks here, five in here. Then we're going to go, in fact, we're going to stop just there, okay? So let's go ahead and raise all of those to five blocks high. So they're the same height as these pillars here. Okay. So just to there for the moment. We can do that all the way around. Okay, once you're done with that, guys, we're going to come over to this bit here that's empty at the back. Get your dog, uh, get your oak log, and from the middle point here where we haven't put nothing in the center of here, we're going to place one here and bring that all the way to the top. Break that one just there. Round the side here, we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same. Bring it all the way up until it's in line with these pillars here, and we're going to join them across like so. Okay. Then we're also going to go down here, right to where this edge of the roof is, and we're going to just put a beam across here and across here. Only on that side of the build load, not on the not on the back here, just on the right hand side. Or the left hand side if you was facing the front of the build, which would be 
over here, okay? Then you wanna get your oak planks again. We're gonna fill this bit in here until we join up at the top like so. Head round to the back of the build. And again, we're gonna fill this bit in, this bit in, this bit, this bit, all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna do these two gaps here as well, up until the top, okay? So let's go ahead and fill those up. Okay, it's shaping up pretty good now guys. So what we're gonna do is get in the edges of the roofs. Now the roofs here are pretty similar and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the front here. So it's a little bit easier for you guys to see where we are. We're gonna add some texture in onto the front here and onto this side over here as well. Um, kind of the reverse to what I normally do. Normally I would do the stripped oak wood and then do some texturing with oak planks. We're gonna do it reverse this time. This time it's gonna be planks and then texturing with the stripped oak wood, okay? But we're going to get to that in a minute. Let's first of all get our roof line in place. So first of all, at the very front of the build here, we're going to place an upside down stair here. One here overhanging, upside down one here, upside down one here, and then just stretch this one, a normal one, all the way across until we touch the wall. Just like so. Now down this side here, I'm gonna place an upside down log facing towards the front of the build on that log. And then the upside down one facing towards the back of the build on that log. Put a normal stair behind it like this. And then we're just gonna join the rest of the stairs together like this. And then these ones over here, coming across and overhanging by one. Making sure you don't put nothing in this gap in the center. Let's put an upside down stair here. And one here facing to the other side and then two stairs in here. Then place a full block on that edge, a full block here, and on all of the upside down stairs here, we just wanna place a, a, plank, a log, a plank, a spruce plank. I do apologize guys if I accidentally name some of these blocks wrong. Sometimes when I'm trying to think too much and talk too fast, I say the wrong block. So I do apologize if that happens. Now we're going to place a spruce stair on top of these two facing each other and an upside down one behind it. We're going to place a plank on top, then a stair facing each other, upside down stairs, planks, stairs, upside down stair, and then on the very top we're just going to come in here, put a normal stair there, upside down stair sticking out. Now let's move along here to this smaller bit of the roof here, this little small gap. We'll do exactly the same thing. So stairs, upside down stairs, planks. Stairs, upside down stair. Then we're just gonna go a normal stair and an upside down one like that. This one round here, we're just gonna put the stairs facing each other and do the same as we've done on the other side. So we go straight into upside down stairs, planks, Stairs, upside down, planks, stairs, oops, and then one in the center, upside down, a normal one on top, upside down one on the front. Okay, that looks great. Now, finally, we're gonna do the same for this roof pretty much here. So what we're gonna do first of all is get our logs and where we've got this open section on the side here, let's just bring it all the way across like this. We join up to there. Then we're gonna come down right here to where the top of our wall is. And we're gonna bring another one across like so. And then just simply go ahead and fill this bit here in with your logs. Just like so, okay, just nice and easy. And then for this top part of the roof here, again, this is gonna be really simple. Put a stair here, upside down one here. Then we're gonna run stairs all the way down the sides here, like this. Put one in here, upside down one behind. That's gonna start this side. we we'll put an upside down stair on this side. Upside down stair there. Run stairs all the way across here. Place one against that one. Upside down one there. 
And then on each side, we're going to just do the same pattern. So we're going to go a plank. Stairs facing each other. Upside down stairs. Plank. Stairs facing each other. Upside down stairs. And a plank. And I think you guys get the pattern by now. So let's do the same and repeat that all the way until we reach the center. Upside down stair in the center, a normal stair on top, and one sticking out at the very top. Let's go ahead and repeat that on this side again. So a plank on top of those stairs, normal stairs, upside down, plank. And again, guys, I think you guys have got the rhythm here with this one. So just keep following that same pattern repeating it until you reach the center. Okay, that's looking really good. Now on this higher roof here, the higher peak roof, we're gonna come to the center here, raise this pillar all the way up until we get right in that gap there. Okay, that's our last gap, which is there. Which from the top here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Leave a one block gap at each side and go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And that's good. Let's do the same at the back here. So we're going to go seven, four, and four. And then we're going to grab our stripped either the stripped birch wood or the stripped birch logs. It doesn't matter because they're going to be inside this edge here. So it doesn't matter if they are the logs, you can get away with that. And we're just going to fill two in on that side and six on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Okay, so two, six, six, and two. Do the same on here. So two each side here and here. Six here. And six here. Okay, perfecto. And then we're going to get our um, oak planks and we're going to fill across the front here. This is the front of the build. So place two layers of five, two layers of three, and one in the center on top. Okay, do the same at the back of the build over here. So two layers of five right in the center. Three, three, and one. And in this little one on the side here, you're going to go three, three, and one. Okay, because this roof is a little bit lower than the rest. Okay, that is looking great, guys. Really good. Now, for this one here, let's start putting in a few windows. So, right at the front here, down the bottom here, you're going to put two window here and a two window here, which is one block up from the bottom and one from the side. And you can see they're centered. Down the side here, this is kind of up to you. It's kind of a preference thing. I think I'm going to go a window here and a window here. And I'm going to leave this bit underneath here. At the back of the house, I'll do the same as the front. So a two window here and a two window here. This one here is actually going to be a door. So break these two like this in the center. Get yourself a cobblestone or a stone brick stair. It's entirely up to you. And you want to place one upside down right there for your doorway. And make sure that you've got a, a full block in there, not a colored block for your, um, for your entrance into your doorway. And then here, I think I'm going to leave these ones around here with no windows, especially these ones here because we will be putting in another build just here. Okay. And I think that will do for the windows on the ground floor. If we come upwards here, we're going to start with the um, smaller part of the house. So here, one block in, right in the center there, one block, go one block up and break two like that. Then you want to leave a one, two block gap and break these two. Okay. Down the side here, you're going to have a little balcony here. And I think what we're going to do is we'll put a door about there okay break those two there and again here we're gonna get ourselves a oak stair and just because it's a doorway let's place one there like that okay 
this gap here i'm going to play break a two two um window just there like so if you wanted to you could put another little window there or even um even one up from that about there at the side here i'm going to put a two block window like that and at the very front we're going to go actually we're going to go a one block in the center there two block gap and one at the top In this little edge here, you want to decide where you want your door. You can have your door on either side if you want. You can put a door this side or this side. I'm going to go right in the middle here and then put an upside down stair just there. And I think that is going to be pretty cool. Right, get yourself some spruce slabs. And then you want some glass blocks and glass panes of your choice. And I'm going to go with the light grey stained versions. We also want to make sure that we've got some stripped oak wood. So first of all, with the stripped oak wood, let's go ahead and texture up the, the uh, walls. Now here, guys, you, again, you don't want to do too much here. This is We're kind of doing a reverse of what we would normally do. So place in some stripped logs like this. And in fact, I think because the grain of the wood is going that way, maybe it would look better for this one doing it like that. Um, and to be honest, actually, guys, I actually think it looks better the other way. Let's do the other way. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better this way, but it's entirely up to you which way you guys want to do it. Just go around and then just add in a few textures just to cover up some of the gaps and just to make it look slightly worn. Now again, guys, this is down to preference. You haven't got to do it. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to go around now, guys, and I'm going to do this on all of the walls where we have the oak planks, okay? Just a little bit of texturing. All right, guys, once you're done, back at the front of the house here, we're going to start working out where we're going to do some windows. So across this one single window here, we're going to put three across like this on the top half of the bottom block and the bottom half of the block above like this. Then place one outside that window like that. And we're going to just grab ourselves our oak stair here as well. And we're going to go ahead and put an upside down stair at the very top like that. And that should do for the moment. In the gap in the middle, place some full glass blocks and then some panes at the side like this. And then place two panes inside this one. That's looking pretty good. Down the side here, we're going to put in some glass panes, glass panes. And we're also going to make sure we put in some glass panes on the bottom as well, like this. Now we're going to head round to the back of the build and again we're going to do the same as what we've done on the front so let's put some slabs here, here and here. Then we're going to put our four blocks in the center, two glass panes, two glass panes and then two glass panes in here and a stair at the top like so. Okay I think that is looking pretty good there guys I think that is everything called in shape. Let's get in our glass panes at the bottom. Okay, right, now we're going to get some windows in on this side. And we're going to actually put these ones up a bit higher because we're going to put some flowers across here. So what we're going to do, come right up to the very top here where you've got the glass, the, the glass, got the uh, oak planks. You want to come one down, place an upside down stair there. Then a normal stair this side and a normal stair this side. And if we can get out, we're a little bit cool. Okay, might have to move that one for a minute and then do it from here. There we go. Place a slab on top like so. Do the same in this gap here again. So upside down stair in the middle. A stair at each side and a slab on top. Then get yourself some spruce fence. And we're gonna go ahead here and place one, two underneath the stairs, one and two two just like that do the same underneath these ones you're gonna have to break that one stair at that side there then you want to get a upside down stair place one like that and one like that and then place a normal stair in the center okay with an upside down stair underneath it do the same here you can put in your normal stair first upside down one there upside down one there and one upside down right there and then all you gotta do is break these two here for your window and go ahead and put in a glass pane. 
and a glass pane. And there we go guys, that's the back of the wall looking good. Let's get ourselves out some trapdoors. I'm going to go for the spruce ones here. And right across the back here, we're going to come right onto that log. Okay, make sure you place them on the top of the log and not this one above. And we want the trapdoors. Place some trapdoors going all the way across. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to break randomly these two and that one. Okay, it doesn't matter which ones you break, just randomly. You're going to dangle some uh, leaves between there a little bit later on. Now down here where the door is, we're going to go ahead and get our slabs. And we've got one block, two block. On the bottom half of that third block, place a slab there and a slab there. And then in the middle, one on the upper half of that stair. Again, we're going to go back into here, get ourselves some stairs and some cobblestone. Uh, not some stairs, some fences and some cobblestone wall. Place cobblestone wall down the bottom and then a fence at each side. And then we might as well go ahead while we're here, get ourselves maybe a dark oak door. And from the inside, we're going to place a dark oak door right on that block there. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly get myself some spruce buttons as well. And we're going to go ahead and put some spruce buttons across the front of the oak logs like this. Do the same down this side here. On this side here, we're going to place a fence in the back here, spruce fence, and then three across here, and then get your door, and we're going to go onto the inside again, and we're going to place one like so. Let's go ahead, break these five logs in here, right underneath that window ledge, and these five here, because we can see then they're poking out. Then we're going to put in some spruce planks across here like this right at the level of the beams and we're literally going to fill all of this floor in all the way across okay so just fill it all the way across and before you do that you probably want to get yourself some torches or some form of light in and place it underneath here in some gaps like this so that you don't get any mob spawn while you're doing it okay so just do something kind of like this all the way around and then you should be good. So go ahead, do that, and then go ahead and put in your planks. And we're going to do that all the way across. All right, guys, once you've done, go ahead and put yourself in a dark oak door over here as well. So we've got one for the balcony here, and we've got one over here for the door there. Okay, and just be careful you don't miss any of your planks. And that is looking pretty good now. So we've got everything all in place around the back here. I think that is everything all there looking good. We're going to get ourselves some trap doors. And I think I'm going to put two at this side here and two at this side here. Just to look a little bit like shutters. And would it look too much if we've done something like that? I think it looks pretty cool like that guys it's entirely up to you if you want to put that there as a decoration as well now down the side here guys i'm going to go ahead and put a plank in there i missed one there and we're going to grab our stair and we're going to place one there like that and one for that window there at the top window put a little slab there a little slab there this window here is going to be a little bit different we're going to get ourselves some dirt blocks Place two outside this window like that. Then we're going to place spruce trapdoors all the way around the edge like that. And then a couple of slabs underneath for a little planter, which looks pretty cool. And then we're going to grab our spruce buttons again and place them across the front of these logs like that. And then I think again, guys, at the top here, I think I'm going to do the same as what we've done on the other side. So I think let's get the trapdoors. Place two trapdoors here and here. Get your slabs. Place one above and one there. Just adds a little bit of shape to the roof and just a little bit of kind of uh, a little bit more detail. And I think that should do, guys. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, right. So we've got that in. Around this side here, let's go ahead and put in two fences here just to stop anything, anyone from falling or anything like that. And that is the build mostly done now. We just got to get the roof in and that should be pretty good. 
Yep, that's looking good. Right, let's get the roof in. And then once we've done the roof, we can then work on some details just around the build just to make it look a little bit nicer. So for the roof, we're going to be using the, the uh, bricks and the brick stairs. Okay, now this is pretty simple, guys. It's pretty much a standard roof that I tend to do on, on most of my builds. So all we're going to do is connect the four block from this side to the four block here. Okay, so four block all the way across like this. Then we're going to join the stair across the top, joining it to that one. Here, we're going to go back one as we come up the level. So bricks come all the way across. Then we're going to join the stairs around the edge and connect to that. Let's place two in the center there for the moment. And then we're going to come to this one and run it all the way from the front, all the way to the back of the build. Down here, let's go for the four block. So next to the four block there and bring it across, join it to that one. Join this four block all the way across and join it into this one here. Then we go ahead, put a stair there, then turn and bring the stairs across. Stairs across this one and join it into there. And then on the top here, let's put two slabs to join to there. Right, okay. Now, in the middle of the roof, guys, let's go ahead and put in our, our bricks all the way across and join up to this side. Then we're going to bring these ones all the way across as well. So it's basically just full block to full block and a stair to stair. Now, down this edge here, as you can see, we've got the stairs going across. What we're going to do is we're going to break these stairs here that were previously from the roof before. Okay. And for this one, we're going to come down, put in our full block here of our bricks, bring that all the way across and join it up to this side. And then do the same at the bottom here into this wall. Stairs on top here and then stairs in top here all the way across like this. Okay. And then in this little edge down here, put a four block and a stair like that. And then we're going to leave that piece as it is just there. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, on this side here, don't forget to put your stairs across this top edge here. And then across this top edge here. And then, of course, we're going to put a slab through the center all the way down. And that is looking pretty good. Now, before we do the next, well, we'll come back to the, uh, to the, I'm going to add another window in on that side, but we'll come back to that in a minute. I think we're going to put in our full block all the way across here. Okay. Now, right here, guys, right where this roof is, I think what we'll do, we're going to get a full spruce block, break this one here and put a full spruce block. Then we're going to break this one here all the way across to there and then put in a full brick okay all the way across because it just feels a little out of place because this side should be a stair and so should that so kind of feels a bit better like that if you really wanted to you could even go ahead and put in a slab so let's get our brick slab and only on top of those those blocks there you could go ahead and do something like that Okay, and maybe even leave that one off if you're worried here with this one. You could just put in a stair like that just to finish that little edge. Um, but here, all I'm trying to do, guys, is just kind of make it blend, the both roofs blend. So now all we're going to do is literally join the four blocks again from one side to the next, all the way up this side of the roof. Okay, so you can see it going from the spruce block and just joining it from one side to the next. Do the same here. And also down this side. And then of course we're going to go ahead and put our brick stairs on top. On the top of the roof here again guys, if you want to go ahead and place your slabs, you can put slabs all the way down if you want across the center block like this. Or you could go ahead if you wanted as well on your roofs and you could even use some stairs like this going backwards. Do the same on this side. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So break that one there and you could put a full block in the center 
to even it out like so. And then just continue with your stairs like this. All the way like that. And again, guys, where I've put these slabs across here, you could use the stairs if you want. I'm going to keep them as slabs and have that one as a stairs up there just for a little bit of a variation. But overall, guys, i got to say, I think this is looking pretty nice. Now, we're going to come over to here. And I think what I might do here is I'm going to get myself a slab right there. So where the stair is on the top half of that block, we're going to go ahead like that. Break those two out like so. Grab out oak stair, put that there. And then we're going to just get ourselves a glass pane and put them in there. Yeah, that looks better. Very good. And if you wanted to, you could even put a single shutter like that. Just so it looks like you can um, open and shut up the, open, open and close the window with a shutter. But I think that is looking good, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Down the side here, I think I'm going to put one there and one there of our trap doors. I'm going to leave that one as it is. So first of all, let's get ourselves in some leaves right here at the back, right where the door is, okay, for the ground floor. So we're going to bring some leaves all the way across like this for a minute. Break the ones that were in the gaps, and we can bring those down something like that. If we come down here, we should be able to place one on that and just make a little bit of dangles down. Break that one at the top there. I think we're going to bring that one down there by two. Something like that, and maybe even that one there by one. In fact, no, we can bring that one down more. Yeah, something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. Just a little bit of leaf in there. And I might go ahead and change them, guys, because I'm not too sure about the color. Let's try the acacia. What's the acacia look like? Oh, the acacias are red here. What about the oak? Now, I am using Jermsey Boys Pack, guys, so he does have some different colored leaves. There we go. The oak look. Okay, we'll go with the oak. Let's do that. So let's just replace these with some oak. Yeah, and maybe this one on the end here, we'll actually just break that and bring down... Hmm, maybe like that. Yeah, I think that looks okay. That should be good. And then down the bottom here, I think we're going to actually grab ourselves some cobblestone slabs. And we're going to make a little flower pot here. So let's just uh, break this bit of the wall here for the moment. We can bring it round. Maybe like that. Bit of an ob shaped pot, but I think that'd do. Let's put something like, actually, let's go like that, that, and then that. And then we'll just put in a red, a white, and a purple. Beautiful. Okay, right, let's put in a flower pot up here, and we'll go with that. It's on the edge. I don't really think that looks right, so we'll leave it as that is. If you wanted to here, one thing you can do is you can break these out if you want. Put a trap door on front and then put some flowers in like so. I think that looks pretty good. Let's make a little flower pot down the side here. So we put three in down here. Put some trap doors around the edge. Just like so. Maybe we do two purple ones and a white one in the center. Let's put a flower pot up here with that in it couple of flowers up here let's do some of those and then finally one thing I'm gonna do here guys is get a composter okay now you can also use a cauldron if you want but a composter is obviously cheaper put a composter down here and then just a couple of leaves like that on top to make a little flower pot just outside there and I think that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that and again, down here, I'm going to just go ahead and just replace those yellow blocks like that. And that is looking really good, guys. All we need to do now is come over to here and find a spot to put in a chimney. Now, I'm going to go one block back to there. Place one, two, three, 
four, I think. Get ourselves a campfire. And we're also going to get some lanterns while we're here as well. Place a campfire on there. Surround it with some spruce trap doors. Just like that. Perfect. And then we're going to get our lanterns. And just like we normally do, we're going to hang a few of them around on the edges. Just like this to create a little bit of lighting. And just to generally decorate it and make it look nicer in this area. So something kind of like this. I think that looks pretty good. And then underneath here we haven't really got any room to hang any lanterns really. Not properly anyway. Maybe around this side here we could put one underneath that edge there. And I think that looks pretty good. The one last thing you can go ahead and do, guys, is get yourself some planks for some flooring. And if we come into this one inside here, close that door, we can go ahead and just replace the flooring in here with a flooring of your choice. And I'm just going to put in the spruce planks for now, but you guys can put in anything you want. And then that is pretty much the build complete, guys. We have done everything from the, um, from the build now, so... I think it looks pretty good. If you want to add a few more decorations in, you can. Um, just be careful you don't overdo it. In the corner here, I'm just going to add a little extra row of cobblestone. And yeah, I think that will do. And then just continue with the flooring. And guys, that's just about it. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there for this one. And I can continue and finish this bit up off camera. Um, so once you've done that, that's the build all done. And as always, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember, I've got a bunch of new stuff coming very soon. All the tutorials I showed you at the beginning, they're going to be coming very soon. So be sure to let me know in the comments what build you'd like to see first. Whether it's the gate, the tower, the little... Uh, what did we call it? We said it was the lifeguard house or a guard house for the dock that goes over in the corner here. The boat. Um, the other houses that we had over the back here the tavern um, or even the medieval gate that we had at the side here let me know which one you'd like to see next and i will do my best to get it done as soon as i can anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up just there so as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video but for now this is blue nerd signing out and i will catch you guys in the next one